Trucker here. Welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy it. Boston Trucker with you. What am I doing on Saturday? The Barubi's Chrome Shop in Bow, New Hampshire over here. Andrew who used to drive for us. He's got the triaxle here. I met him. He was looking for some ideas to chrome it out. We're thinking bumper, lights, mud flaps. There's some cool rides on a lot here. I wanted to show you. Not that one. Get that. There's nothing wrong with that. It's a nice fleet truck. Pays the bills. We got Al Graymont over here. The wood chip hauler from New Hampshire. One of the hardest working old school truckers you'll ever want to meet. I might take a ride with Al in a few minutes, but this, this gorgeous B model pulled in. Said he's got two and a half million miles on it out of Newfoundland. What a beautiful truck. Coast to coast transport, Newfoundland. Never seen this truck before, but boy, you should have seen my neck, my neck snap when he I see, when I heard that Jake brake pull on and he pulled around the corner. I was like, "Holy cow! Look at that! Totally cool!" I love this truck, man. We got some, always got some nice trucks here. We got a day cab over here. This triaxle just pulled in. Beautiful. Look at the pipes on that. Babin Landscape Supply. Very cool. That's trucking right there. Oh man. I want to, I want to go for a ride. I talked to the driver for a few minutes when he's walking in. I might have cost him in the parking lot. See if we can go for a ride. <laughs> Wasn't planning on getting any video footage, but I'm sure I got I'm sure happy I brought my camera with me. Any good uh, video content producer always has their camera with them and ready to go. One of my very first YouTube videos was of this truck, about 15 seconds of it going up the highway back when I was really new at making videos. These interesting fenders he's got on here. This truck's got a lot of miles on it. You don't need wheelbase to make money. You just need a good truck and a good driver and an excellent owner. Watch how he tries to blow me off. Are you thinking of a way how to blow me off right now? <laughs> I'll bring you for a ride. You take me for a ride? I'll bring you for a ride. All right, you want to get some, some, you... I gotta move some junk and wipe some salt off my, off my Yeah, yeah, truck. take your time. Windshield. Let's go for a ride. This is, this is Al Graymont, everybody. Yeah. This early this morning. The roads were a mess. What time did you start? 2.30. 2.30. You, you start really early usually, huh? Yeah, if I can get out of bed. I, I try to. <laughs> Go do your thing. Take your time. Yeah. We're in for a treat. We're going for a, we're going for a truck ride. Yeah, a lot of salt on the roads. Yeah, this little stupid little squirrel. That's all it takes. I get a little fancier when I get home, and I'll really clean it good. Okay. Steam it right off. Yeah, you got a good power washer at home. Yeah. Yeah. What kind of soap are you using? CTI, some other stuff, just stuff I get from uh, Power America. Or okay. They just bring me with me. That's good soap, actually. It's I very... actually, I don't get too fancy this time of year. Yeah. 
I just a lot of times I blow it off with no soap. Okay. And then I hand wash it with with soap. I don't like to put the soap through the steamer and leave spots everywhere. Yeah. The Power America soap we use at the shop, and a lot of guys use it who don't want to hand wash. Right. And it does a good job. Yeah, it does good, but you got to rinse it real good. You got to rinse it. Streaks. And I mean, if you polish your aluminum, it will streak it if it's yeah. warm. So you got to be very careful. Uh, cut it. You got to uh, cut it. The, uh, the pink acid on the aluminum. Yeah, the web. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Yeah. yeah. I was just uh, talking about that in my recent video. Actually, this aluminum until yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I one more box here. What year tractor are we looking at? This is an 86. 86. And I am the third owner. Where did it originally come from? It was a transcoastal classic right, carrier. Right, out of Maine. And I was heard he he traded it. He Peter built in Maine. Yep. He put 800,000 on it. Okay. And excuse the mess. That's okay. We're not judging. Um, he put 800 on it. And then my friend uh, Mushroom. Some of you guys know Mushroom. Who's Mushroom? Oh, Mushroom does the trailer repair yeah he i got mushroom was a second owner he put a million oh really so first one put 800 and, uh, and you know mushroom he doesn't like him. being called mushroom yeah well david okay and, uh, and, and uh david put a million and i've been in it going this is my 24th year and i put a million six on it driving the same truck so that's uh, where i do the math i don't know <laughs> i can't do them i don't have enough fingers so we're gonna go for a little ride let's go for it i'm gonna stand outside while you start her up This is a treat right here. Wasn't expecting to do this today. in a truck this is so cool well, you're usually getting in the other Dude, side That's this what truck is like is. old school old school like yeah, you got old... actually this seat came out of my 79 really it's original of a 79 peterbilt because i don't like the air seats rattling around yeah and this seat i bought brand new the driver's seat i bought this brand new in in uh 1983 or four so i've been this truck this seat's been in Three trucks. That's incredible. I figured you'd have one of them fancy legacy no, lows. No, because um, because a 359 doesn't have a lot of leg room. Right. So if I keep a low back thin cushion, because I'm 6'4", then yeah. I get then I get my leg room. Oh, I like that so, steering wheel. You replacing that? Uh, wow, that's no, nice. I'm putting this in another 359. I okay. Have. And the and the reason is because you got a good. There you go. The reason is because the way I sit. The, a 20 inch matches the top curl of the dash. Yeah. And I can see all my gauges as opposed to some that have the four. Right. And everything. So, all right. Ready? Nice, nice dashboard here. You get everything. Yeah. Everything. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. So what, do you got, what do you got under the hood? Um, it's a four and a quarter C that cap mechanic pretty hot built me yep so it's a four and a quarter c but it's got c16 pistons and liners okay from a 600 and it's got a a b pump and we put on a dyno at cat after it was built and it put 700 wow. plus so i got 800,000 miles on it now since, oh my God. since he built it for me and it's gonna be a little slow taking off because i'm Wait. not heavy but we're fully loaded fully loaded what you got for rear ends Little teeny 40s and a 1710 drive line, so I could blow this up anytime I want. <laughs> or someone could blow it up. I try not to. I've only had trouble where I when I put this where it shouldn't be, like in a landfill or something right. like that. That's why I can't start. I could. I got. I got plenty of power. I just gotta be careful so I don't blow anything. For like a, we're going to head down towards Target and come back. Go down to the Anywhere, yeah. Go to the truck stop and turn around there sure. and Irving and come Yeah, back. yeah, yeah, absolutely. And it's got 370s and an 18 speed. 
So first question, Al. How did you get your start in trucking? Um, you've seen my old Euclid. So my father had an excavating business, and in the summers I used to drive site trucks on the uh, at the jobs, hauling stuff around. Yeah. Back before everything was crushed, we used to cut and fill. So uh, I'm I, 14 years old. I was driving dump trucks on the oh my God. site jobs, and all I wanted to do was drive and uh, have my license as soon as I could when I was 18. Because I couldn't drive out of state. Yeah. I drove dump trailer and low bed for quite a while, okay. moving equipment and DH and everything for my father. And then when that business changed, I started just doing this park and chips. We've been doing this for 30 years. Wow. And that's year round? Yeah, oh, we're busier in the winter, stocking up places so they have the material for the spring. So you're picking up raw bark, uh, bark chips? Uh, and... Some raw bark or some processed bark, usually down to Massachusetts, and then we'll, um, drive. right now I got a load of chips on going to a producer that's going to okay. end up making a product out of this load that I have on. So, and then, uh, you know, it's still early, it's nice and warm this weekend, so when I get empty, I'm going to drop you off, and when I get empty, and head to the house, I'm going to try to clean up my uh, baby blue. Okay. So, so how many trucks do you have right now? I only have two extended hood 359s. I have this 86 and an 85. And um, some changes went on in this wood business the last few years. Okay. So, um, I had some drivers, one, one just retired. Well, you know, they didn't want to do something different. So, yep. uh, so I had as many as eight trucks registered on the road at one yeah. time. But never seen seemed to fill more than five seats. So I we, we did quite a bit. Was it hard finding drivers back then? Oh uh, easier than now. Yeah. I mean your trucks certainly attracted a certain kind of driver. Yeah, you know, I've had brand new ones. I yeah. just I prefer driving a mechanical engine and I don't like the new new ones. You can work on it yourself. Yeah. I did Finally, put pneumatic tires on this. Though okay. I had the old wooden spoke tires on. Yeah. yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> no, wow. I'm not pulling it. That's new. <laughs> I, get I get teased about that. Though. That's funny. So for you, trucking is life. Oh yeah. Every I, day. I live it. I've told people that this isn't a job for me. It's my life. Yeah. So. Like if you're not trucking, you're working on trucks. You're at truck shows. Basically. Basically, yeah. right? Yes. And you love it. Oh yeah, I love it out here. I, like, I mean, I'm home most every night. I like, I like it at home, and we got our little dogs and animals, and I got a yep. little. Basically, now I'm supplying my own place because I have a um, retail materials yard okay. up around home, and, and uh, so a lot of loads I do like when the spring gets busy. I'll be we we brought in last spring. 45 to 50 trail loads a week go into my own oh place. Oh my god. So I'm almost full time just supplying my own place. That's amazing. Holy cow, that's a lot. I don't know, engine brake might be a little, it's a super jake on this. Oh, it sounds good. It's not the regular jake. Super jake. Super jake. And that's with full mufflers. I was on straight pipes. Okay. Wow. Sound good. driven like uh, trucking out of New England? I've done a few loads, picked up some stuff in Ohio and and someone might ask me to go pick something up and yeah. pick, not this, just local. Yeah. Pennsylvania. There's plenty of work around here. Further. Oh yeah, I, yeah. It's, it's mainly Maine, New Hampshire, and Massachusetts. Okay. Different colors, basically blue, but we're yep. gonna add a little white. Okay. And 
gold outline. I, mean, I know what I want to do, but it's all time and money. Yeah, I yeah. tend to be quite truthful. Uh, like my my young fella that does a good job for me in the garage, Brock, he teases me about that he just can't get me out of this. <laughs> I like driving it, too. I yeah. want to fix it up, but I like driving this truck. Yeah. So, it's your here. baby. Yeah. I mean, this is yeah. your baby. Oh, that's what we call it, baby blue. Really? Yeah. Kind of, kind of simple, you know, the other truck's brown and white, you've seen the other truck. Yep. Uh, this is baby blue and the other one's brownie. Okay, brownie. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. Now see, I'll show you. We got you scale that. down here too? Nice oh, is that a heat? Oh, no, that, that was a uh, engine. Yeah, heat, so yeah I see you could set now. the timer and, and it'll go on and the engine, but here we can Like I said, I can, you could, the wrong person in this blow the drive line out. Oh, yeah. Every day. Yeah. Oh, 1710, you're going to take six wheel dump trucks on a bigger drive line than this thing. <laughs> in today's standards, you know. Yep. Been in this truck stop in 20 years. No, I don't buy much fuel here anymore, but I can run in and grab a bite or coffee or something. Look at that, I really got me. So, what's a typical day for you during the week? You getting up what time? It depends what I'm doing. I, I normally, you know, I'm 12 hours, 10 hours, 12 hours. Like this morning, we left early, 2 30, but except for these stops, I would have been. I'd be back by 11.30, yep. you know, but normally I, I don't start that. I'll start at between 3.30 and 4 o'clock, but I'm done at the same time in the afternoon. Okay. I, we used to work a lot of hours and a lot of coming in at 8 o'clock at night and stuff. Yep. But, uh, I like starting early, but I like to get done early now. Yep. Yeah, it's nice to be home before the sun goes down. Yeah. Yeah. The shift's nice and smooth. Yeah, it's a little rattly on a, on a pole. This has got some miles on it, but yep. we'll just see what happens. You can always put one in. Yep. I put one in once. So what year did you get your probably class one license. Yeah. yeah. Well, I got a, a B for it, you know, a, yep. a string, and then that was a mistake because it was the same year I had to go get the A. Yeah. But no, right when I when did I get that? I, when I be 18. Right. When I was 18. I had my. So what year was that? Well, I was born in '61. Okay. So okay. Uh, I don't know. Okay. I got a, it was like 79. Right. Yeah. 79, yeah, 80. Yeah, well, I, yeah, because I graduated high school in 80. Okay. So, yep. and then my first truck, I think I was 17 before I even had a license. I got really? a 64 DC 103 auto car. I don't know if, I, wow. if you've seen any pictures. I don't have wow. any movie. I'll show you red and black. It was a fella bought it brand new in Wellesley, Massachusetts, and I. I worked on the, uh, that's down your way, right, when they did the Wellesley, red, yeah, right by my house. No, no, but the, uh, Cambridge, the red yeah. line extension, I was, I ran that truck when I was 18, when we were digging the tunnel for the tea dam. Yeah. Uh, my first truck was at that, and then, and then, like I said, I drove low bed for my, for my father for quite a while. Low bed and dump trail. So your dad drove, or you owned a phone in the construction business? Construction business. Yeah. So all I did was drive, hauled in materials and moved equipment. And yep. Back then we moved a lot of equipment at night because he was so busy. You'd have to move the machine. I run the dump trailer all day. Yep. Get in the low bed and back before we had to worry about hours. And I was young enough that I could handle the hours. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I start at three o'clock in the morning and be done at midnight. It a lot 
comes that B model that yeah. was parked next yeah, to you. That's nice. Look at a that. Real, a real truck. That's a real truck. And you both wave to each other. That's old school trucking. Um, we do that across the highway, the guys that have the old ones. Yeah, yeah. Nobody knows what that is. It's a club. That is. That's Stopping cool. these places like if that Irving was full, if it was a weekday, all you'd see is Volvos and freight liners. Yeah. It's pretty sad. It, the whole thing is sad. It makes you stand out even more. Well, well, that's why until they regulate these off the road, which will be for emissions if they do, I'll, um, I'm going to keep running these. Yeah. They run better, they're more dependable. They drive, you know, anybody that likes driving likes a Caterpillar engine. Yeah. Can't shift the other ones. Nope. Um, you don't know anything about deaf fluid and regions. Well, you you I, don't even know what I'm talking about. I have a loader that takes that. Oh, really? Yeah. I, got, okay. I, got, I bought a new Hitachi loader for the retail yard okay. a year ago, so we put that in there. But, and I had a truck. I, bought, I thought I I thought I needed a for a driver. I got mad at Peterbilt because he didn't have the specs I wanted, so yep. I saw a Mac up at Bangor that was all spec the right way, and I oh, I'll try that, and they called me and said that your truck was ready. So I asked them, hey, could you date the papers on a certain date? So I purposely bought that truck on my 50th birthday because I knew I was making a, st a mistake and I was going to blame it on turning 50. <laughs> and it was a mistake. Mid that, was, crisis. that was a, a brand new 2011 CH Mac, and it was the worst, probably the worst truck I ever wow. had. I'm trying to think when I met you first. I must, I must have been driving for Boston Bark. The Lexington Dump, I think. I think you were. Yeah. Because yeah. it was before when you were with Anthony now, right? It yeah. Before that. Must have been that or? I think it was, yeah. yeah. See me on the road. Looks like your car. I saw you once when you I was. did. I think you were in that yeah. park when uh, when I was driving through Needham. You remember yes, that? Yes, I remember. You were coming out of some store or something yeah, there. Yeah, what yeah. the heck is he doing there? Yeah. He's usually on. I usually see you on the road. It was the one day I had to take a day work. off to take my wife to the hospital for a procedure. Are you? Uh, are you still driving? You're still in the Kenworth. Right? I am, but I got a new truck. I heard a rumor that you guys were I got, getting a new I, one. I have is a brand. It it's in Middleborough getting painted. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, brand new W900 wow. flat glass. And um, uh, so what's that? That's the 600 Cummins? The 565 or? Cummins, 565. 18 speed. Guys uh, told me that the 565s, you know, I, uh, run just as good. You don't need a 600. But, I have a 565 in mine. It runs fantastic. Yeah, it doesn't. Nothing slows it down on the hills. Just, Hopefully this new one will be as good. I just I'm a cat guy. Yeah. No, Unfortunately obviously. we lost um, the owner of Peterbilt, Bob yeah. Gentry, but a quick story. One day I was in there and I and, and I said, Bob, I want to order ten new trucks. Wow. I said, Yep, but I want caterpillar engines in them. <laughs> <laughs> and they could they don't put them in anymore. Yeah, so yeah. so his his smile turned into a frown. Oh man, I remember so, Bob. Uh, good guy. Well, this was a real treat, unexpected treat. Oh, this was, uh, this was a nice surprise to see you up here, too. Yeah, I wasn't even planning see on being up here. I was supposed to be trucking today. Up a little bit. Things well, changed. Well, I'm out here because I'm taking care of a mill, and I might get the storm. We might not run in the storm Tuesday. Okay. So I had to plan my things because I got to haul logs on Monday. So, so I wasn't going to work today, but I thought with the storm coming that I would. And I got a little extra secret switch on this. What's that? Actually it's powered to the, to the fuel pumps. Okay. Oh look at that. But if someone got in this and tried to they'd have 
it would run for a minute and he'd keep dying. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, I don't want anyone taking my baby blue. No. They don't make these anymore. No. What is this little thing right here? Oh, that's my train horn. I love that. Train horn, and but like I said, I want to, I want to tend to the tend wood and paint it and everything else. And you got to take care of baby blue. You know, it's it's only two fifty wheelbase. I'd like something like two seventy, but it's. It's, I, I'm not going to, I'll leave it like this. Before you came out of the chrome shop, I said on the camera, I go, wheelbase doesn't pay the bills. A yeah. good driver and a good truck does. Yeah, I mean, this would be considered way too long years ago, yeah. what, we, what we were doing, but now it's too short. What's know? the wheelbase on this now? 250? 250. Yeah. And my new, the brown one you saw, the brown and white, mm -hmm. is 255. Oh. So, that how, actually rides a lot nicer than this. How long's the trailer? This trailer's uh, Titan Life Floor. This trailer's 48. It is? Yeah. They look these. They look massive. These life floors. Forty-eight. Some guys get fifty-threes for lightweight material, but I had all forty-fives and a little lower, smaller. Mm -hmm. This is a hundred and twenty-seven yard trailer, and the reason I went to a bigger trailer is we started hauling a little trash. Okay. So which is lighter, you know, yep. volume or lightweight uh, chips. Yep. Of course, with the heavy bark. You know, normally I'd only put about 80 yards in this. You don't mm -hmm. put 127 yards. <laughs> right. You know, for legal, watch your weight. So. Yeah. So we try. How's um, the How's the uh, DOT been treating you over the years? All right. No problems. Yeah, they just wave because they know I'm not all there. So they, hey, yeah, go on, <laughs> federal. Yeah. No, no problem. They're, they're pretty decent. And yeah. To all the old guys, we had some hard guys in Maine and stuff. They're all retired. Mm -hmm. you know, like everyone yep. else. Some of the young ones are. You know, the, are you originally from Maine? No. Oh, no, from, I'm from Massachusetts. You are? I bet, yeah. Where'd you grow up? I grew up in Needham and moved to Natick. And then I moved up here and um, got married in 85 and moved up here in 87. So we, oh, my wow. wife and I, my wife's from Franklin, Mass. We've lived up here more than, no more than idea. half my life I've been up here. Wow. Yeah, I don't know, 36, 30 something, 36 years going on. What's that, 87 where I am now? Yeah. All right, outside the tip of Winnipesaukee, the Alton Yeah, Circle. you live in a beautiful area. There. Yeah. yeah. So my retail yard supplies a lot of the um, Someday I'll stop homes there. around the lake. Yeah, you're always yeah. welcome. Thank you. You know, don't don't tell anyone, but I rarely lock it, lock anything. So you don't say that on video. There, just go right in the house, and you can grab okay. yourself a sandwich All or right. whatever. All right. Okay. And, yeah, say hi to the dogs. Okay. My wife's got... got well, we just picked up another one, so one, two, three, four, five little chihuahuas running yeah. around. I know your wife on Facebook, Couple Jennifer. Yep. 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 So, you got a nice family. Yeah, thank you. Looks now like you my have... grandson, Whalen, he's he's getting into this now. Is took, he? Took him to Makunji for his first trip see last that. year. Yeah. I see that. So he, he, he had a ball. Now, we weren't even home from Makunji, and on the way home, he goes, when, when are we coming back? Really? Oh, yeah. He can't oh, wait to go. Uh, now he reminds me. It's only four months, you know. If you're going to fix this truck, you only got four months. He's done. I think I'm going to take the brown one down. How old is he? Nine. Nine. Yeah. So in nine more years, I'll be interviewing him in his own 359, right? probably. Right. And, you know, I ended up with, of course, we lost my, my father-in-law last February. And um, <laughs> a year ago now, can you believe that? Mm. Time fly. But I ended up with the, um, from him, that old... Um, the Emeryville, that black Yeah. Emeryville. So that'll, I'm going to plan to that's take wild. that to McCundy. I want to get a ride in that truck. Oh, yeah. That's, that's a, got a 220 Cummins. That thing's, yeah. I've never been in a taller truck. Yeah. That's even taller than one of those CL, it is. When you, CL when, 9000s. I'm not used to the cab overs, and when, and when, you, um, when you're driving there, and you almost, it's not, of course, it's not real tall. It just looks tall. Yeah. But you almost want to duck going <laughs> under a bridge, because I'm used to driving this, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well cool. What but, else is going on? Well, I'm going to go get rid of this load of chips and All right. maybe find a bite to eat and then drop this trailer. And I'm not going to clean all the trailers because we're going to be okay. right in the mess again on Tuesday. So, but I am going to clean this truck today while it's All nice right. and warm up. I'll see you on the road. You ever go to any of the big truck shows like go down to Louisville or are you just too busy? No, like they have in Wisdom one down in York before McConaughey this yeah, year. Yeah, ATHS I, show. Man, you could do both of them, but I'm... I'm probably going to be too busy. We go to McCunji and, yep. and then your local Mass uh, Bolton, Lancaster. Yeah, yeah, that's They'd a good show. Yeah, I'll yeah. probably do that and McCunji. And we like to go to Owl's Head, Maine. Mm -hmm. And maybe the Daring, which I don't think is going to be good. in Daring this year. I think it is. I think is I got it? a flyer for it, yeah. Oh, okay, because I thought they were going to redo the I feel the like airport. it's May 5th, but I could yeah. be wrong. So that was, I think that's what I did last year Owl's Head, 
uh, or Makanji and Owl's Head and Deer. So four, four or five shows a year. Right? Yeah. And you make a lot of friends at the truck shows. Well, everybody knows I you. I have a lot of friends. Yeah. That, from years. So yeah, yeah. That's half the reason you go to those is not just to, to see your friends. The trucks are a bonus. It's to, we yeah. all, you know, it's all to, to talk to them. Yep. You know the guys that um, really, really used to do it. Yeah. So the old school guys. Yeah. Just like you. I guess so, huh? You guys are keeping up on a tradition that's unfortunately dying in this industry. Well, unfortunately, and I, I was telling my wife that I, I, I not not saying anything about me or anybody else, mm -hmm. but the guys our age, or my age, just group when we're gone, that's it. Yeah, that's but, how I feel when we're gone. That's it. For the most part, you're right. But you, so. you know, you're you're teaching your grandson, and there are guys like you teaching their kids, but yeah. there's not as many anymore. Oh, and the, and the, and this, I mean, this is nice. What but is I that? grew up I, eighteen speed, but oh, I grew yeah. up with a five and four. That's what we yeah. all drove. Really? That's all we had. Yeah. You'd be surprised the people now that don't even know what that. If they look in something and see two standing, mm -hmm. they wouldn't have a clue what that is. Yeah. I loved it. I get one. I get in one of those antiques right now. Well, actually, um, um, Patrick Morrow let me drive his a forty-eight mm -hmm. auto car, and oh my God, it was just like my my um. Really. Mine. DC 103 and it just brought it was beautiful. Yeah, I think you get my respect ago. because I'm not too too uh, good on the two shifter yet. Yeah, well, I'll take you for a ride in one of them. All right, that? I took it's uh, simple. It's easy. It's just you're doing it with your hand instead of this button. I took <laughs> I took the Cardillo 63 auto car to uh, the Lozelle show this summer. Oh yeah, <laughs> I faked it all the way there, but yeah. I got it there. Well, you don't have it's empty. You know, you don't have to do it all, but yeah, but it, but practice. It, it's, it's easy. Yes. Yeah. 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 And you grew up with it. You watched, yes, I you know, did. Yep. Seen your dad doing it, and you know. Yep. My dad didn't drive much. He no. ran the business. We tried to keep him off equipment because mm -hmm. he was always getting it stuck in a ditch somewhere. Okay. And stuff, you yeah, know? yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> but no, yeah, we had a good crew. That's another thing. Getting all half those half those guys that work for him. Yep. Um, that I work with. The you know, of course, over with me just just lost another one last year. Just they're all four or five. I'm mm -hmm. all passed away. They're all gone. So you got any like tips on how to drive safe? Like especially today where it's getting so the the, the cars are so aggressive and so are a lot of the truck drivers. Well, some 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 won't believe me, but how to drive safe is is um, I drive by common sense, not by what the sign <laughs> What's says. That? If the sign said drive off bridge, would you drive off right, the bridge? No, right. I don't do that. Right. The sign down in Massachusetts, no trucks in left two lanes. Well, yeah. the safest place to be is in the third lane. Yeah. So I'm all usually in the third lane, oh, okay. especially by those major yeah. interchanges, Route Two, Three, yeah. nine, you know. And 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 I drive by my common sense and not what the sign says. That's good advice. It's like the sign that says. Yeah. No engine brake. I think that yeah. sign is wrong. Well, you, in sometimes some you sometimes you need it. Certain neighborhoods. Yeah, yeah. I I live by that, and certain ones is ridiculous. And, right. and you do need it like yeah. that. So. Right, right, right. But um, that's so common about, sense, yeah. huh? I'm gonna think on that. Yeah. Well, some people, a lot of people don't have that. Do they? A lot of people no. don't. And what about winter driving? Winter driving. Uh, <laughs> We don't go out. I never forced dispatch, they call it, uh -huh. when I was running on my trucks. It, it, it was up to the guys. So mainly we're out in the stuff if we're stuck out in it. Yeah. But but if it's snowing, if we know there's going to be six inches of yeah. snowing in the morning, What's we don't the go out. Yeah. I'm not delivering oil or, or, yeah. or food or medical, you know, so just to load yeah. a bark or chips can right. wait. So, but when you are out in it, yeah, winter dry, um, yeah, but rain rain's just as bad, you know. Yeah. You know that empty empty yeah. empty truck and, and a rainy highway. That, and, that, yeah. that's, that's just as scary as in the snow yeah. sometimes. So, so um, no, you just try to be careful. That's it. Well, <laughs> hey, hey, look, no cruise control in this truck. No, no. There it is, right? There's the cruise control right no there. No electronics. Yeah. Yep. There's actually a rod that goes to the fuel pump, not a wire. How's that? Wow! Yeah. Look at that. Unbelievable. Well, hey, I'm going to let you get back to work. Oh, good to Thank see you, you so Michael. much. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. This is a, a right. big treat for me. Good to see you. Me too. And you'll be good, uh, good to see you. YouTube famous, which means you're still going to have to keep working. Well, I tease, I tease my wife and the kids that work for me about, yeah. you know I'm famous, don't you? Yeah. And they get a chuckle That's out of an me. early Boston Trucker video. But it was a very bad, it wasn't very well quality. Hopefully this one will be a little yeah. better. Okay. This one will be out there forever. It'll, it'll be out probably sometime next week because I have another video coming oh, up tomorrow. So good. I'll be like looking. It. Yeah, all right, man. Good Take to care. see you. You right, too, Let me get out with you. Okay. okay.
Good to go. All right, man. Okay, Michael. Be thanks, safe out thank there. You thank again. you again. Yeah. yeah, thank you. I'm gonna videotape you leaving. Okay. All right. And I am leaving. I gotta you go gotta go. I gotta they got some wood chips. These chips and not take them to the house. <laughs> Have a good day, Michael. See ya. This video was sponsored by Baruby's Chrome Shop. Not really, but that's where I am. And that was exciting. Love that guy. That's, that's the epitome of trucker right there. Real trucker. All right. Time to head back south. Enjoy the rest of my weekend. Hope you enjoy. Hit that subscribe button if you like this video. I got a lot of interviews. Go back and check out my videos. And I got a lot more coming this summer and this spring. I got stuff planned, all right? <laughs> Thank you. Peace and grace. Peace and grace. Peace and